Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. So this is the second episode of the rigging quick tips. So in this one I mentioned briefly about the differences between a parent and an orient constraint and the effect it has on a, an object's rotation values. But here I'll just actually demonstrate it using a couple of polygon primitives. So if we just create a poly cube, go in a shaded mode, duplicate it, and we'll just move this over. Okay, so we'll change this name to parent, just to make things more clear, and this to child. So without even constraining, let's check the basic parent. So select this, select parent, hit the P key. So as you'll see, the way this works is the child object rotates along the, the orientation of the parent. So this is similar to like how the Earth orbits around the Sun. So this is similar to how the parent constraint works, so I'll just hit shift P to unparent it. So to add a parent constraint, we'll select a parent first. Whenever you're setting up constraints and even some connections, always remember the order driver driven. So this is the order that you do things like that. Only, the only way you select a child first and then a parent is if it's a basic hierarchical parent, big word there, <laughs> just like I showed there, so if you do a simple parent by hitting the P key, so select parent, shift select child, go to constraint, and parent constraint, so here we have some options, most importantly is maintain offset, so what you want to do is you want to check this normally for a parent constraint unless the object's in the exact same spot because if you don't watch what happens you can see it automatically moves the child to the parent this is because it's inheriting the parents translate and rotate values so let's undo that so if we use maintain offset the child will keep its position and as you can see it works the same way as our simple parent and because the translate values are affected as well it will follow so that's just a quick bit about the parent constraint and again we can delete that So now let's check the orient constraint. So select a parent again, then the child, and go to constraint. So in this example, as you can see, both rotate channels in both of the objects are zero, so we don't actually need to maintain offset. So for example, we could easily just do it like that and watch this the child will rotate from the pivot point of its own object so this pivot point here is where it will rotate so the result should be similar to rotating the child itself manually so let's give it a go so there you can see so you can see it keeps its position but it rotates from its own pivot point and this is why we normally use orient constraints to drive joints from a controller because we want to rotate from the joints pivot okay so that's that we'll get rid of that again and now I'll just show maintain off set off so say we already have rotational values on the parent well, if we apply an orient constraint and keep maintain offset off, you 
can see it inherits the same rotation and again it will move from its own pivot point. This can be useful for aligning things, for example you can align something and then delete the parent, delete the constraint rather. So let's do a quick example, I'll show you how you can easily align an object between the centre of another. So let's just move this and let's duplicate it. So let's say we want to place this object bang in the centre of these two. It's very simple. You just select both of the objects that you want to centre it between. Then shift select to that object. And go to point. Make sure maintain offset is off. Click add and this will place it perfectly in the centre. Equal distance between the two objects. And then once you've aligned it, you can simply just delete the constraint. So that's another handy tip there. So I think I've gone over enough for this tutorial. It's probably lasted a bit longer than expected, this tutorial, but I just thought it would be important to show how the basic constraints work in Maya, along with the differences between them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Rigging Quick Tips video. So see you later.